on this video we are going to replace the bearing on your watch shaft on the rod on the cone rod of your piston here's a piston we are now going to do the bearings it comes in a set like this yes, it depends on Standard, 20 tau, 50 tau. Always take a sample with. So you have to strip the engine, take the rings out, take the bearings out, take a sample. If you're installing, how are you installing, Lance? There's a gap there. Right. There's a. Take me my Oh. Yeah. The gap? Gap and a lock. Show us the gap. On the bearing. Right. There's a back gap. Take the gap, yeah. There's a lock on the bearing. Just slide it. There you go. That's it. So the lock on the little hole is. Look for that lock and the little hole on the cone rod. Yeah. Right. And that part is done. Then on this part. Yeah. We say? Right, so remember on when you ins inserting your bearing, you're just gonna slide it in on your on your cone rod. There's a little gap there, and on the bearing there's a little lock. So you have to slide those two in into each other, right? So there we have slid it in. That's it. This side. Same, same, same story. Slide it in. Look for the gap in the in the lock. Yeah, yeah. gap in the lock. And then just slide it in so it can align flat there. There you go. There you go. It's nice and locked there. Okay. And basically that's gonna go over the crank crankshaft. Right. You can so use grease or oil to. Smear inside, right? So you can always put grease in inside or oil when you are replacing it before you put it on the crankshaft. I prefer grease. Right. Not too much, just a little skin for it to just, you know. That's it. That is how you install your bearings, your bearings on your rings. rings, on your pistons. Alright, subscribe to my channel. Please tell a friend, like and share this video. And visit me next time.